Today, we're getting into the latest Tesla news, including the new Model Y performance shipment spotted again. Tesla increases prices for all Model S, 3X, and Y variants. Tesla also hikes full self-driving price in Canada by $2,200. Tesla planning to buy 247 acres to expand Giga Berlin and much more. Welcome back friends, if you are here for the first time please subscribe to our channel for the latest Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. The comment section below is a great place for you to share your thoughts and help us brainstorm as a community. So without going any further, let's begin. First of today, Tesla has updated the design studio for the Model S and Model X to confirm that both vehicles are now being produced with the screen tilt feature. Earlier this week, it was discovered that a Model S delivered on April 29 had a built-in screen tilt feature. The feature was originally promised when the refreshed Model S and X design was announced in January 2021, but was removed from the website before deliveries began. Although we have yet to see an example of the feature in the Model X, Tesla has now added the feature back to the design studio for both of the flagship vehicles. Tesla has also added a new video to the Model S product page to showcase the feature. Tesla has also made another change to the design studio for the Model S to include the new Matrix LED headlights after they were first added to production in February. It might not be easy to notice at first glance, but when you compare it to the previous headlights using the slider, the difference is easy to spot. The new headlights feature two distinct bulbs with an array of LED in each housing. Each LED is individually controllable allowing for light projection in almost any pattern. The technology that allows the headlights to selectively turn on and off certain LED hasn't been fully implemented yet, but we are expecting Tesla to turn on that feature through a free over-the-air software update soon. Next up today, Tesla is reportedly looking to ramp Gata Factory Shanghai's vehicle production output for May 16. The company would be accomplishing this goal by adding another shift at the China-based electric car plant. Since resuming vehicle production last month, Tesla Diva Shanghai has been operating with only one shift. According to an internal memo from the company, the addition of a second shift should increase the facility's output to around 2,600 electric vehicles per day. The contents of the memo were shared by Reuters, which noted that it had seen the communication from the EV maker. With the second shift added, the publication estimated that Giga Shanghai could reach an output of 16,900 vehicles per week. This is already quite close to Giga Shanghai's output prior to Shanghai's COVID lockdowns in late March. Tesla China has not issued a comment on the matter. Before China's stringent COVID lockdowns, Gigafactory Shanghai had been operating with three shifts. It took 22 days before the plant resumed production, the longest halt in Giga Shanghai's history since it started operations in late 2019. Wedbush analyst Dan Ives estimated that Tesla lost about 50,000 units worth of production due to Giga Shanghai's shutdown. Gigafactory Shanghai is Tesla's primary vehicle export hub, providing Model 3 and Model Y units to territories such as Europe and other countries in Asia. Last year, the facility accounted for roughly half of the vehicles that Tesla produced and delivered. Despite the adverse effects of the recent lockdowns on the facility, however, Elon Musk noted in Tesla's Q1 2022 earnings call that he remains optimistic about Tesla's China-based EV plant. Giga Shanghai is coming back with a vengeance. So, I think notwithstanding new issues that arise, I think we will see record output per week from Giga Shanghai this quarter, albeit we are missing a couple of weeks," Musk said. Tesla has hiked the price of its full self-driving suite in Canada by $2,200. The FST capability will now cost Canadian owners $12,800 from its previous $10,600 price. Tesla has increased the price of the full self-driving suite in the United States since releasing it for the first time. The most recent price increase occurred in January when Tesla spiked the price by $2,000 in the United States from $10,000 to $12,000. The price increase was not welcomed by many customers who felt the automaker had not made any substantial improvements or feature releases. However, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has always justified price hikes for FSD, stating that in many years when vehicles do drive themselves, current prices will be a bargain. Some Canadian owners expressed discontent with Tesla's FSD price hike last evening as it was unforeseen and came without warning. Tesla has routinely updated customers of changes in FSD pricing to encourage drivers to buy in at a lower price, but Canadian drivers evidently did not get the same luxury when the prices were suddenly bumped up by $2,200 last night. Many owners who replied to the tweet embedded above were upset with the lack of communication Tesla displayed with the price increase. Additionally, they expressed doubts that the increase was justified as the full self-driving suite has not performed well in some regions. 
Tesla officially started rolling out the full self-driving suite in Canada in late March. Some of the potential shortcomings in the FSD suite's performance could be attributed to the lack of time the neural network has had to compile data that would align with Canada's driving rules and regulations. Tesla has been busy adjusting prices in Canada. The price of both Model Y variants were also increased by $1,000 and $1,100. Not to be left out, prices for all variants of the Model 3, Model S, and Model X have also been adjusted higher. The biggest price increase belongs to the Model 3 Long Range, now $3,000 more expensive at $74,990. The performance model also saw a significant price bump to $83,990, plus $2,500. Combined with the last price increase on March 14, the long range is $6,000 more expensive, while the performance is now a whopping $9,000 more expensive. If you are looking to buy the entry-level rear-wheel drive variant, you will have to pay $61,980, just a $600 price increase. Following some substantial price increases in March, as much as $16,500 for the Model X Plaid, price adjustments for Tesla's flagship vehicles are a little easier to stomach. All variants of both vehicles were increased by just $600. Moving on to the next update, multiple white Model Y performance SUVs were spotted leaving the factory this week on the back of a car carrier. According to Marcus Shetty, who shared the photograph on Facebook, the carrier was on the A8 highway heading towards Austria. Shetty noted there was also a second truck with more white Model Ys, but only shared some photos. There were a few other sightings of white Model Ys leaving the factory this week. Wieland Wenzel shared this photo on Twitter of another car carrier with five more white Model Ys on the A9 highway, without specifying in which direction it was traveling. Tesla ship tracker Morton Grove also reported another three trucks with white Model Ys were spotted traveling west on the A2 highway. In April, we reported that Giga Berlin's paint shop had added the new color to its repertoire and is expected to add three brand new colors soon, deep crimson, abyss blue, and mercury silver. The paint shop has been in the headlines recently for another reason. Last month, approximately 15,000 liters of a paint mixture leaked out. The leak was cleaned up by a disposal company. About two to three liters of the slightly hazardous liquid ran onto an access road. The incident resulted in the environmental group Green League asking for Giga Berlin's license to be revoked. Up to the last update, Tesla is reportedly looking to purchase up to 247 acres, 100 hectares of land in Brandenburg to expand Giga Berlin. According to a report by the German publication RBB24, the land in question is located directly to the east of the existing factory. The report, which said the information came from official circles, states the new land would be used for a train station used to transport newly built vehicles and storage. Tesla had already announced in 2020 that it would have as many supplier products as possible delivered to the Grunhade plant by train. Completed Teslas are also to be transported away by rail. The group is now planning additional storage areas and a freight station for this purpose. This suggests that Tesla plans to keep the rest of its property free for future car factory expansions. According to RBB 24's sources, the purchase has not been completed and the price has not been finalized. The land in question is currently owned by the state of Brandenburg. Tesla could pay as much as 13 million euros if state authorities charge the same price per acre that Tesla paid for the existing site. But there are still some significant hurdles Tesla must overcome before any of this can happen, according to the report. If the deal goes through, construction could start as soon as June 2023. Well, that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, check out our channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. See you next time. Until then, peace.